Hey guys, this is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be back with all of you. I want to say thank you to all of you who came out for my recent video, Messages from the Spirit World. If you haven't got to see that, check that out. It's the video right before this one. Anyways, I'm so glad you're here. Listen, I got a question for you guys. Have you ever wanted to have, you know, a banner to unite under spiritually? Have you ever thought, gee, I wish my religion had a flag? Particularly today, I'm addressing this to Wiccans. Have you Wiccans ever thought, I wish we had a Wiccan flag? Well, listen, stay here. We're going to talk about that. You know, a lot of people around the world um, have a religion. They follow a, a tradition. And many of the, the organized religions actually have symbols. Uh, for example, the Catholics have the Vatican flag. And a lot of times you go to Catholic churches, you'll see the Vatican flag displayed. So Catholics unite under that banner. The Episcopalians have the Episcopalian flag. And even the Buddhists have the Buddhist flag. You know, I was very inspired by the Buddhist flag recently. I went to visit a friend of mine who's a Buddhist, and I walked into their house and I saw the Buddhist flag draped across the wall. And I thought, wow, you know, I haven't seen that flag in a long time. As many of you know, many years ago, I studied Buddhism under a great spiritual leader, Reverend Suji. And when I was with Reverend Suji, I used to go to different Buddhist events, and they used to have the Buddhist flag draping. And it's a wonderful symbol because no matter what branch of Buddhism you're in, that flag stands uh, out as a sign. And every Buddhist, no matter who they are, recognize that flag. It's a powerful symbol. Flags are powerful, wonderful symbols. Anyways, it got me thinking. I was thinking, you know, all these other religions have their flag. The well, Wiccans don't have a flag. And I thought, I wonder, I wonder why Wiccans don't have a flag. Well, one of the reasons is, is because, you know, Wiccans are very independent. We don't have a governing body who dictates the law and lays down regulations. So we're actually very autonomous. So this is one reason we probably don't have a flag. I was also thinking, well, you know, because we don't have a governing body, there's nobody who can really officially speak for Wicca. So any flags that people would create would be maybe something that, of their own creation. But I was thinking, you know, one of the things that I would like to see is a Wiccan flag. Now, you know, some people are going to say, oh, Bob, you know if we start that, everything is going to be under a rigid structure and controlled. No, I'm going to disagree because I think a flag will bring us uh, a symbol of unity. You know, um, a lot of times people travel to different festivals, a lot of the pagan festivals, and people, different covens, different you know organizations, put up their banners, which is really cool. But wouldn't it be nice to have a flag that wherever you go, you see, say, hey, that's a Wiccan household, or hey, that encampment over there at the campground, they, they're flying a Wiccan flag at their campsite. You know, I think that would be wonderful. I really like the idea of a Wiccan flag. Anyways, I know some of you are going to say, well, Bob, why don't we have a pagan flag? Why not just a Wiccan flag? Well, we could have that too, but, you know, when I talk about paganism, it's such a broad area. I mean, we've got Ossetru, we've got, uh, you know, Egyptian practitioners, Neo-Celtic, we've got Wicca, we've got, you know, you name it. There are so many different branches. And I think because within paganism there are so many distinct religions, I actually think each religion should have its own flag. So anyways, I came up with an idea, and I thought, maybe we could form a committee of Wiccans from around the world and together create a flag. You know, I, I kind of visualize this as, it doesn't have to be that difficult. Um, we could have teleconferences, submit designs to each other, study them, and we could also, in the process, research manufacturers who might be open to producing our flag. Uh, now, you know, I'm going to say, I know not every single Wiccan in the world is going to say, well, you know, we don't want that flag, and, you know, why do you have that? Well, that's why I want to have a committee, and I'd like to draw it from different people. 
from th across the United States, across the United Kingdom, Canada, North America, South America, and Europe, uh, and Asia too. So maybe we could look at forming a group to where we could have a committee. Something that we could each put input in from our local areas. You know, I was thinking like, you know, what's important in a flag? Well, color is important. Okay, so we'd want to think about what type of colors would we want? You know, like for example, I think green is very big in the Wiccan movement, so maybe we want green to be a color. I'm not saying it has to, I'm just saying, when want to think about that. You know, myself, I love the color black, and I had kind of a vision of a black flag with a big purple pinnacle on it. But then I thought, you know, even though we Wiccans understand that, the rest of the world at large might look at that and think it's evil. So maybe black isn't the greatest idea, but then maybe it is. So many things to consider. Purple, yes, definitely wonderful color. Red, white, green, all of these ancient pagan colors. You know, maybe we could have that. So then I thought, well, what do we have for symbols on the flag? Well, we could have a goddess symbol. But then I thought, well, we have to also have the god. But then that doesn't account for Dianic witches who don't worship the god. So I think we should stick to something that's very generic that kind of covers all pagans, or excuse me, all Wiccans, no matter who they are. So I'm thinking probably for an emblem, we might want to have the pinnacle on the flag. I think all Wiccans, regardless of your branch, recognize that sign. I thought about the triquetra, but then not all pagans use the triquetra, or all Wiccans use the triquetra, so that might not work. But anyways, I, I'm, I'm kind of stuck on the idea of having the pentacle on the flag. Another reason why is, you know, that's a recognized religious symbol in the United States military. So at, you know, Wiccan funerals, they could fly the Wiccan flag. So anyways, I just want to put this out here to you guys, see what you think. So listen, give me comments in the box. Tell me, would you be interested in being on my committee? I'm going to try to have a committee. I don't know. I don't want to be too large because it'll be hard to coordinate. Maybe 10 people. Um, maybe you'd like to be on that committee. And we could start planning a design. And we could start promoting this and see if we could get people who would want to support this distribution of this image. Anyways, guys, just give me, uh, give me comments in the box below. Tell me, would you be interested in having a Wiccan flag? And if you want to share some ideas, I'd love to hear about that. Anyways, listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. This upcoming Friday is a sacred day. It is the solstice. And we're going to have a special video all about solstice magic, so you don't want to miss that. Anyways, guys, thanks for being here at Spirit Channel. Listen, keep it here. want to hear your comments in the box below. Um, tell me, do you want a Wiccan flag? Have you ever wanted one? What do you think about that idea? Would you like to help create one? Also, listen, um, if you're new here, why don't you join us? We'd love to have you hit that subscribe button, become part of Spirit Channel. It doesn't cost anything, and it's a lot of fun. You'll make a lot of good friends here. Anyways, guys, listen, thanks for being here. I look forward to seeing you here on Friday for Summer Solstice Magic. So, let's think, though, till that time, about a Wiccan flag. What do you think?